Hello my friends and welcome back. We got some very very funny news. Funny or not funny because uh, it is funny if you look at it like that but then if you put it in the context of someone else and you change a little bit the names you see how things are seen in a different uh, position, different way. So this comes from Reuters, our friends now. <clears throat> I just posted a video uh, with the Reuters uh, showing, sir. at least they got it right here. They posted a video, uh, a, a picture of Ukrainian refugees going to Poland, but at least here they put the right person, the right person, the queen of, there you go. At least they got the right picture. <laughs> if, <laughs> they got a video, I think it's funny, not. So this is about uh, North Korea's Kim Jong-un sends congratulations to Queen Elizabeth on jub Jubilee. Jubilee? Yes, June 3rd, 2022. So, are they friends? Is the Queen uh, King Jong Un Sturge? Is she uh, on his payroll? Hey, hey, my fellow uh, Brits, answer that question right now. So, this reminds me of another guy. Uh, his name was uh, and is Donald Trump. Uh, when he was congratulated by someone else and they said, ah, see, he got congratulated by that guy. That means that guy got his puppet in office in the United States. Yes. Is, is it the same case here? And if not, why not? Because congratulated? Just funny. Not. So let's see. See, the King, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is a civilized dude, has sent a message of congratulations to Queen Elizabeth, the rec reclusive state's foreign minister said, as Britain celebrates her platinum jubilee. Jubilee? <laughs> Something like that. You know what I mean. Friday marked the second of four days of pomp, parties, woo, and parades to celebrate the 96-year-old monarch, record-breaking 70 years on the throne. Oh, my! Wow, congratulations. I extend my, and this is what he said, uh, King jong un the great leader of North Korea. I extend my congratulations to you and your people on the occasions of the national day of your country, the official birthday of your maj majesty. Kim said in a message dated June 2nd, Britain and North Korea established diplomatic relations in 2000. Oh, oh my fellow Brits. You are in cahoots with those North Koreans. Mm -hmm. I got you. And now they congratulate. I wonder how many things are, uh, how many messages are between the Queen and uh, Kim Jong-un that we don't know about. Huh? North Korea is one of the few countries that the Queen, who is also head of state of 14 other nations, including Australia, Canada, New Zealand, has never visited during her long reign. She has, however, paid a state visit to South Korea. Okay, so, very nice, very nice gesture coming from the North Korean leader. And uh, I, I'm still uh, uh, waiting for that answer. Is the queen uh, on uh, Kim Jong-un's uh, payroll? If not, why not? And why is the other guy on the same? Hmm? Oh, because of those uh, things that uh, were coming and they went away. All right. I thought it was just funny. They used the right picture over there. They did, did they? Yeah. So that's the queen in the picture. All right. They could have placed, I don't know, a Mandela or something. <laughs> like they placed uh, in the other um, the other video that I, I posted regarding the Ukrainian refugees. Check that out. Reuters. Good job. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.